I first got my first Behance account, I think it was back in 2008, 2009. I mean, I could actually look and see how long it's been since I've had a Behance account. But I have to tell you, this platform in the last 13 years has completely changed the game for us as photographers. So much so that today I'm actually doing an episode completely on Behance because Behance has added three new features that are so game-changing that I had to broadcast about it. You know? All right, let's get into today's episode Welcome everybody who's decided to pop in today live. I definitely appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Ah, Behance. Behance has 18 million creatives on the platform. 18 million creatives are on this platform. And Imagine this massive audience of creatives and enthusiasts. It means that if you put your work here on Behance, it's going to get seen. It's going to get seen by other professionals in the industry. It's going to get seen by art directors, art buyers, advertising agencies. Behance is the first place that people go to when they're looking for the right creatives to put on a project. It's a very professional community. As you can see, the work that's on Behance, this isn't Instagram. This work is incredibly high end. And it's known for its high end portfolios. Like that's what Behance is known for and is respected for. So I'm very happy that I jumped on to Behance long before they were owned by Adobe. Adobe bought Behance maybe 10 years ago, and it's also completely free to use. It is owned by Adobe, but it's completely free to use. And if you have Adobe portfolio. I mean, if you have an Adobe subscription, meaning Creative Cloud, you get Adobe portfolio for free. And then you can actually build a full website, which is the website builder that I use is Adobe portfolio because of the integration with my website. Look at this car. Holy shizer. Wow. Audi's doing big things. And this car photography is inspiring. Inspiring. Really, really great. Really great. <sighs> the integration with Creative Cloud means that if you upload, if you have a project in Lightroom, you can go directly from Lightroom to Behance. You can go directly from um, Photoshop to Behance. You can go from Bridge to Behance. You can store your portfolio in Creative Cloud and have that portfolio updated and uploaded right there glad you're here les thanks for the pop in Oki. glad you're here julie i'm glad you're here everybody else who is watching live i appreciate you all thank you thank you thank you all right let's get it on okay so the job opportunities that come out of behance is insane because this is, again, where art directors, buyers look for photographers. And if you look at my Behance profile, the thing that's great about Behance, if you look here at mine, you can see right here, I am not looking for a full-time job, but I am available for freelance. So you see right here, you basically are able to show what you're looking for. Like I'm looking for freelance. So Julie, who is a retoucher on her retouching section or on her retouching site, she can say that she's up for projects. It just basically lets people know that you're here to work. You can see I've had 
quite a few project views, appreciations, lots of followers. I mean, the followers here are not going to be the same as the followers on Instagram because it's so niche down to creatives. But imagine if you could take your Instagram followers and literally eliminate all the ones that had no power to hire you and just leave the ones that had the power to hire you or were other creatives and those followers those are the followers who follow me on Behance so if you think of it that way it's just a great editing system because when you are actually sharing the work the work is going to people who actually have the power to hire you which I think is um the future of uh, for us as creatives all right, the next huge thing with Behance that they added recently is subscriptions. You're able to now have people pay. They can join, they can be a, a subscriber, they can pay monthly and it's a monthly fee that you set. The money all pretty much goes to you as the creator. Um, Behance isn't really trying to take any of it. So it's also a very good place to put subscriber and subscriber content as an alternate to Substack or as well as Substack. So big brain. And of course, inspiration. This is what we go to for inspiration. This is where we're looking to find the absolute best photography design. If you're a photographer and looking to make a website why would you not be coming here to look at design inspiration? Why would you not be coming here to look at other photographers' sites to see what their website looks like based on clicking one of their projects, getting amazing photography that may be, oh, look at this, guys, which may be similar to yours. Look at this. Look at how absolutely sellable this project is yes or yes like just absolutely incredible i want all of this work on my wall ah uh. wow 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 is this not wow photography for you right now holy such a beautiful body of work so behance Behance, Behance. And let's talk a little bit about these new features and why I decided to do an entire episode today on Behance only. Let's get into it. New features, new features. <laughs> this first new feature is so good that I... <laughs> This new feature alone is why I'm, where are we here? This new feature is why I'm making this episode right here. On your profile, and this is my Behance profile right here, you see here this little area that says services. Now this is such a game changer because now what you're able to do welcome vicky i'm glad you're here thanks for tuning in what you're able to do now is create a service like headshots like um editorial portraits like advertising like car photography like food photography like headshots and then add examples from behance and the cross-reference. So if people see these examples in Behance, it'll say you can have this service and it'll link to your services page. And if people click your services, it'll link to the projects that actually, it'll link to the projects that actually give you the examples of your services perfectly. So this tab alone, I just discovered it. It's literally been here for not that long create a service. So very, very, very smart addition to what Behance is doing right now. The next thing is a subscriber area. Now I've just set up my subscription area in Behance. I have 
um, a blog that I have paid subscribers for already, which is sub on Substack. You can go to stevecardi.com and get my Substack, which is just basically stevecardi.substack.com. Substack is a blogging platform I've been very active on. Behance, on the other hand, I'm not sure if people are used to paying monthly in order to get um, paid content here because it is a, a, a it's like basically paying for Instagram. It's a free platform. People aren't going to pay you for your Instagram. Um, but it is an option um, for me today for the first time ever. As you'll see here, I am live at the same time on Behance as I am live here on YouTube. So I'm trying one of their other areas, which is their live streams. And this is the first time that I've ever done it, but you can see I am live on YouTube, but I am also broadcasting this live stream to Behance. So I am co-streaming right now to two places. So if you're watching me on Behance, thank you. Glad you found me, appreciate you. Make sure that you pop on over to where we are on YouTube, if you'd like to chat, because for this first stream, I'm not exactly monitoring my chat over on Behance, but I am using this for discoverability. The next game changer. <laughs> this, I want you to really take in. You remember Wirestock, yes? Wirestock was and is a stock agency that you upload your images to Wirestock and Wirestock distributes your images to everybody. Now, that made it really easy for photographers to have their images, their stock, potential stock images distributed everywhere. Now, now we can do this right from Behance. Right from Behance, we can mark our work as stock and it goes right into the Adobe Stock Library and then has the ability to make money right here from your Behance profile. So this is something that I haven't dived into as yet, but adding assets on Adobe Stock, join now, link your Adobe ID, create your stock library and now the photographs that you're making for free are now in the ethos of the world of photography where people now have the option of using your photography for their projects and yes if it's a huge advertising buy you get big money if it's a small website or in a video you get little money so FYI, but it is an amazing option for us that we did not have before. So in the beginning, shooting stock was very difficult. You had to be approved. It was very difficult to get your work into a stock system. Now it's easy, 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 easy. Now, although NFTs are kind of history, um, although I do have a couple of like my Pharrell and DMX and NFTs, I don't have them on my Behance profile, but I do have a link to my NFTs on OpenSea here. And again, it's like nobody's buying, um, nobody's buying NFTs right now. Like this whole industry has kind of collapsed, but I did put six NFTs up um, last year around this time with hopes that they would take off. But I was like a year late on doing NFTs and the hype of NFTs kind of came and I think are now gone. So they are there. The other amazing thing is mood boards and how we are, we're able to save things that we find on Behance into specific mood boards. And you can see this particular one is called Layout Love, where I just love 
lay the layouts in this and as ideas for my print portfolios for mailers and printed pieces i put together this print love um mood board so just through going to behance and you want to save a project just like you would save bookmarks on safari or chrome or whatever browser you use you want to save projects but in a way so you know this i'm saving because it's portfolio inspiration this i'm saving because it's location inspiration and as you're a part of behance you'll notice that people start saving your projects for mood boards and those people who are saving your projects for mood boards could be art directors could be buyers like look at this story so text inspiration font inspiration layouts I'm a photographer, yes, but I love text. So I do spend a little bit of time um, looking at layouts. The other I have is lifestyle product, which I don't know. I haven't I created this quite a while ago, but this is products in a lifestyle way. So you can see the type of photography that I'm saving here. It's lifestyle slash product photography. And again, these are all images that I've saved from quite a while ago, but it's a good time for me to be looking back at much of this work. And then the last um, mood board that I have, and again, you should definitely be doing this. I have a mood board called Amazing Shooters. And um, these are really just amazing, amazing inspiration. So I use Behance in quite a few different ways. The, the, the things that I think are just great about what Behance is doing right now is the subscriptions giving you the possibility, giving you the ability to have your stream monetized, to have your um, channel be like, hey, if you want to support, you can give me $5 a month and then you can make specific projects paid only. If you shoot nudes, if you shoot boudoir, if you shoot stuff that's just like um, that you want to be behind a paywall, you can also share that type of fine art photography work on Behance, which I think is really uh, pretty brilliant. So let's get it 